This is Umar Ahmed for IFL TV in association with MTK Global. With me is the hitman made his Frank Warren debut tonight. Did you expect it to, to go 10 rounds though, Nathan? No, I, I thought when the first round, I thought I was going to possibly get him out there because this seemed very really hard. But fair play to the lad. He, he, um, yeah, he's very tough actually. The, but, but after the first round, I did think to myself, I just want to box here because I do need the rounds. It's been a year since I've last fought. If I had gone him out there in the round, it wouldn't have really done much for me career. It looked cool on TV. But it wouldn't have done much for me for me career in terms of like the fitness and stuff and knowing I can do the rounds. But at the end of the day, I dropped him in the fight. So I can show I can drop people and stuff. But but I was trying to get him out in the last round, but I just couldn't step up a little bit. My coach was telling me, Steve was telling me to step up a little bit. But it's it's one of them and it's been a year since I've been out, so there's no excuse, he was a very tough lad. I mean, first round, you look razor sharp, even though you've been inactive for a yeah. year. Um, but then Ryan kind of came strong and strong, yeah. and he, he showed he's a really durable, tough man. And he had moments in there himself. Yeah, he, he certainly did. And especially even the point where I dropped him, the reason he got dropped is because he got a bit keen. He thought he, he thought he got me. He didn't hear me. He caught, he caught a good shot, but he was getting over it, and I just whipped it and then just dropped him. But, but yeah, I mean, fair play to him. Like, he's boxed at, like, Walter, but... I think he should be fighting at a higher weight because he must be killing himself to get that because he's not exactly small. He was like very similar size to me, really. I just loop ripped. Right, so, yeah. But happy to get that ring rust off. Absolutely. It was it. And it's weird. Bear, bear in mind, my career has gone from strength to strength in terms of my support. It's been incredible, like the guys that are following me and stuff. So to do it in complete silence, it was, it was good, really. It shows I can still fight the thing, but if, I just need my guys there because it makes it enjoyable. Was there moments in there you felt that you traded up a bit too much? Yeah, there was definitely. Out, my coach, Steve was not going to be happy with some of the things I was doing there. I was letting my hands go a little bit too loose, getting caught with silly shots at times. But at a higher level, I can't be doing that. So it's just it's one of them. It's I got I got out of the way. I boxed. I'm happy with how it went. The war, we, there was no warm up. Bloody hell! Literally, we, we got in. They were like, you "Got to be ready." I didn't even wrap up. Like, it's it crazy how quick it was. I thought he was, but Spilly Sam Noakes, he's, he's an animal, isn't he? So he got it rid of his guy. And it took 20 minutes off the bloody show. So, yeah, it is what it is. Of course, during the week, uh, Denzel Bentley's kind of name was talked about, etc. when people yeah. were talking to you. I don't know if anyone's told you, he's put a tweet out tonight uh, during your fight. Have you, have you heard about no, it? No, no, I haven't, no. Let me just get up. I don't want to misquote him. Um, Denzel. So, Denzel tweeted during your fight it baffles me when I see fighters not moving their head low yeah yeah well maybe he's right maybe I do need to move my head a little bit more but it's him but yeah he's a British champion so he can say what he wants but at the end of the day I need to work on certain things um, and I certainly will do but it's, it's one of them it's, I've been out for a while and uh, I was happy with our box certain, I shouldn't have got it with certain shots but it's boxing it's going to rain you're going to get wet sometimes and I just need to make sure I get an umbrella if I'm going to do that so yeah of course, uh, we've heard from the government that fans will be allowed to come back May, kind of June time, yeah. hopefully. So what's the plan now? Are you going to try and get out before that? Are you going to wait for fans to come back? I, I just need to speak to uh, Frank Warren and stuff and see what the plans are with me and uh, what shows you want to put on mm. and then and see what happens. But ideally, I do want you guys there because it's just it's totally different. Well, listen, uh, congratulations for making your BT Frank Warren debut. Well done tonight and uh, we look forward to the rest of your journey this year, all right? Thank you very much. Cheers, Thank you.